This is the lockpicking lawyer, and a few weeks ago I was teaching a student how to pick disc detainer locks, and he was having a real tough time keeping his pick aligned with the bore axis of the cylinder. So I took these out of my box of disc detainer picks. I haven't used them in years, they're nothing but aluminum standoffs, but they can often allow for positive contact between the barrel of the pick and the body of the lock. That positive contact ensures proper pick alignment, and I can't begin to tell you how much that alignment aids in picking. Sometimes this can be done just by shortening the tensioning nose, but other times these spacers can be very helpful. Eventually, I stopped needing the crutch. Nevertheless, I thought some of you might find the tip handy. So, we're going to pick this SSR padlock using the method. It's actually a reasonably well-made padlock. We have a thick shackle, a stainless steel lock body, there's no plastic inside, it even has more discs than most comparable locks. Even so, I have not felt any anti-pick features inside, so it shouldn't be too hard to open. The first thing we're going to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to get the pick that Bosnia and Bill and I made and place this standoff around the tensioning nose. I already have this adjusted, so it sticks out just far enough to grab disc number one for tensioning. Now that we're on disc number one, I'm going to hold it firmly against the lock body to ensure alignment, then find disc number two and get to picking. Okay, little click out of two, click out of three, click out of four, Here we go, click on five, click on six, click out of seven, click out of eight, click out of nine, click out of ten, and we got this open. Okay, folks, as you saw, that was pretty easy, but one of the key elements that made it so was my pick alignment. If this is something you're having trouble with, maybe you should give this method a try. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.